Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Daruk, and this is episode three of Resident Evil Shadows of Rose. Last episode, we got to play with dolls, and it was a ton of fun, and it wasn't scary at all. Uh, honestly, though, compared to the baby, not not too bad. Not too bad. Um, again, I'm permanently traumatized. Uh, I can never look at a baby again. I just can't. I break into cold sweats. It's it's really bad. Um, so thank you for that, guys. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, so now now we're in Wonderland. We're tiny. We're we're seeing giant dolls. They're probably gonna try to kill us too. Uh, you know, maybe I'm reading a little bit too far into it, but that's just my guess is that we're gonna get attacked by killer dolls. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's it. We got a little bit of Rose's backstory, a little bit of her history. It was in like some diary entry, and then it was into some. I don't know, like dioramas. So we didn't get anything like too concrete, but just some stuff about how she was bullied, etc. And maybe she lashed out. We don't really know. Um, so yeah. How much longer we got? I have no idea. I've been enjoying the DLC. It's pretty interesting. Again, they really... Village definitely feels like the one where they're really just going all out for whatever they want to do. Uh, which I honestly, again, I don't think it always hits well. I think sometimes it's hit or miss, but... I appreciate them trying to do it anyway to see what works and what doesn't. So let's see what we get this next episode. So let's get started. Wow, look at these cute dolls that are definitely not going to try to kill us. So, so crazy. Who would have thought? <laughs> see, the, the knife, the, the, the knives, the dolls here don't seem to have knives on their backs. But um, that picture we just saw, they did. Uh, and they definitely attacked us with when we were Ethan. So let's see what happens. This should be lovely. I'm also, my sound's a little bit loud. I'm gonna definitely blow out my eardrums when these things start screeching at me. <laughs> Look at these things. They're having a good time. Okay, let's see if they're doing laps. Oh, I like the little creepy doll music. Or like, you know, music box music. Dude, they're really good at setting... They... Again, I think this is the best atmosphere of any of the games. I think RE7 actually was good too. Wow. But they've really figured some stuff out, I feel like, in RE7 and Village. Well, look at this thing. It's like a freaking patrol car. It's a helicopter. Let them see me. <laughs> Don't worry. I guess I should keep heading this way. The voice actress is phenomenal too. I think she's done a good job. This is a good game, man. I again, I I've, I'm. It, the DLC is letting it grow on me a little bit more. I still have quite a few... Again, I'm not sure I, I, I love the overall product, but the moment-to-moment -moment, uh, can be really good. I'm dead. Oh, can we hide? Oh, okay. I thought we just get one shot. Okay. Well, that's that's nice. It's not too punishing. So it seems they just disappear once you've been caught once. So we can tactically get caught potentially, but I think I die instantly. Yeah, my health doesn't fully recover, so I actually will just die. Shit. How are we gonna do this? I actually don't know how to do this. Oh, I see a plank, okay. We gotta run. We're doing a runner. Ooh. <laughs> S 
So what does that do? I'm unsure what I just did. I got so distracted by the dolls. I assume something opened up. Can I drop down? Okay, I honestly don't know what I did, but we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Oh, she does not look over here. Okay. Uh, you're so stubborn. I guess this opened oh, up. There's so much oh, got it. Okay. Not too bad so far. Wow, that's dark. Oh, so they attack noise, okay. Yeah, all the imagery of Rose just being completely torn apart is really disturbing. Okay, you guys have fun. So many. If they see me, I'm toast. There's gotta be something I can do. Oh, look, there's Rose here, too. Um, do I have a gun? No, but I have this. <laughs> oh my god, look at these things. We're running for it. much to say other than this is very good I, I like this little bit as long as it might hopefully it doesn't go on too long but um this little segment's pretty good I like it so far just have to get past them uh, okay I can't reach that hmm let's think because we need that to fall there's something I can do Maybe when it goes that way, I drop down. All right, we're dropping. They didn't see us. That's good. Ooh, they're moving. Oh God. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Whoa. Creepy. Not enough. Not quite. Not quite. Do with a bit more. Oh, okay. I love their bodies too, switching around. They, yeah, I really feel like they didn't make use of the, of these dolls from the Beneviento section that well. Okay, I'm trying to get the, the hang of this timing here. Um, so I, I'm happy that they actually got a bit more use out of them. The whole Beneviento section was good, but it was a bit short. I'd have liked some more interaction with the actual Lord. Same with Moreau and same with like Heisenberg we had interaction with, but like, um, Moreau and Beneviento we didn't have too much. So it always felt like a little bit like rushed in the middle, even though the Beneviento bit was like the most memorable too. Dude, did I do- th okay, I completely flipped that. I did not know if that was the play. All right. 
we're back here in the, like the little lab. Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with mom. Jesus Christ. Okay, the Godzilla mom, not my thing. That's pretty scary. Oh, if she checks underneath the desk. Dude, if she checks underneath the desk. Okay, I was like, please no. Oh, she found me. Don't eat me. Oh, she ate me. <laughs> All right, that's my bad. I, I guess they can hear you. That's my bad. We'll see how far back we start from. Oh, okay, we're good. Big mama. Delicious glass of grape juice, my favorite. got powers I wonder if we can the point is to just freeze them oh Jesus okay well that worked so we have to we can blast one of them but which one that's the trick right Okay, I blasted her. Oh, and yeah, okay. Well, whatever. I'm pretty sure I zapped her, but whatever. Oh, shit. Can I zap mama? Oh, I'm limping. Can I heal eventually? Thank you. I'd like to not limp for 30 minutes. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, let's let's get her done. Let's get her done. All right, nice. Oh, Jesus. Okay. No one likes Rose. Hey, that's me. That's even meaner. She has those creepy powers. Just like your dad. That's why she doesn't have any Just friends. damn, that's Shut fucked, up. bro. You know it's true. What is wrong with her? Rose, go Super Saiyan on them. Go Super Saiyan. Afraid of what she might turn into. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh, it's Godzilla. Momzilla. Oh, we're closing the door. That should work. That's going to work, Rose. That's... Oh, we're holding it closed against Godzilla? Okay. That's, that makes sense to me. Oh, it worked. Gotta get out of here. Whoa. Whee. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Let me out! Jesus Christ, look at this. There we go, our boy. I finally found you. Let's get out of here. Thank you. 
Good job, King. Michael slash Ethan slash the goat. I can't take much more of this. Why are they talking about my dad? I never even met him. Oh god. No. This is gonna fuck me I up. Know. I don't know the first thing about him. I wish I did. All I know is he died protecting me. Sometimes I try to imagine what my life would have been like if he hadn't died. But he taught me to ride a bike, helped me with my homework, read me a story every night. Would he have been there for me, proud of me? Sometimes when I feel lost or afraid, I try to imagine what he might have said to me. Oh, Jesus. Where are we? We're in the house. We've got the jacket. Yeah, because this is like Ethan's lair. Feels like, because like there's like, like the Duke's lair, maybe Evelyn or Benevientos, and then there's like Ethan's. I wonder if it wasn't Evelyn and maybe. The decorations. Some kind of party? I wonder if it was maybe, you know, Miranda's daughter. I mean, Evelyn was supposed to be Miranda's daughter, but wouldn't that be interesting? Because, like, she's supposed to be alive in the Megamycete. Or maybe that was Miranda's, like, hope. But that would be an interesting twist, because we never got any details on her daughter other than she died of the Spanish flu, I believe, in, like, the 19, early 1900s. So that'd be an interesting twist if it was, like, my mom tried to bring me back, but you just, you, you overpowered her. So not only did you stop me from coming back to life but he also killed my mom and that's why she hates rose so much i mean it would make sense for it to be evelyn as well so that's what's really interesting okay so it seems like everything's the same except this place is decorated for a little birthday party everything seems a little bit smaller because it's third person <laughs> is it a first person To do, decorate the living room. Done. Get wine, put in dining room. Yep. Rose's other present in study. Hidden. Ooh. I thought we were going to go into Moreau's section next, but it seems like we're just going... This feels almost like the end of the DLC, so to be honest. Little. Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine <laughs> with her old man. What's that voice? Is that... Dad? This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. I bet other things also have my dad's memories. Oh God, not the jazz. She bangs her spoon every time I play this. I wonder if she'll be a musician. Miss Dean, the Paul Boys. I wonder boys. if dad played any instruments. I don't think he did. She just cannot get enough of this stuff. <laughs> that was a weird line read. As soon as I started crying. She can't get enough of this stuff. Interesting that we haven't seen anything about Mia either. Besides her being like a nightmare doll. But like, she's such a interesting... Take your time and look around. I am, I am doing that. Such an interesting character because we never really get too much of her. In RE7, she shows that... We, we see that she's like essentially like borderline special forces like she's she's comfortable taking on bioweapons which is like not an you know we've seen enough re resident evil cutscenes to see people that are pretty competent just die rose is such a picky eater all she ever wants is fruit puree i guess i've always loved fruit and then in village she just disappears she's been kidnapped and it's weird because she seemed like emotional in that in that scene with the hot like the flashback sequence and she was a bit weird in the dinner sequence because she was miranda but like when did she get kidnapped what tests did miranda run on her like the whole thing like we don't actually she she's 
there's so much stuff about her that we don't know and it's like really weird it's just like it's it's like they almost for like they're i feel like there's gonna be like some insane reveal in the next game or they're just gonna forget about it also i think i heard i heard something but i then i don't see anything what a yeah she's a weird character for me oh well, let's just save but yeah so let me out Chris is going to break down the door, shoot Rose. <laughs> um, bathroom, right? Yeah, okay. No, no, no fond memories in the bathroom. Ethan's just like, I just took the best shits on those toilets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's, that's not appropriate. Oh, and here's like the little music box. This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. Okay. This thing, this thing is horrific. And the fact that it's still in Ethan's little mind palace is also disturbing. I guess it's just like ingrained. It's like that's just his time at the baker's. Ethan, don't forget Rose's half birthday is on the second. I'm gonna make an amazing cake, so you better eat it. In fact, I'm gonna make a cake for every special occasion we have. I want you to take lots of pictures for our family album. Okay, half birthdays. Mom and he just... Oh, see, dude, what is she's Mia? Mia's still sus. She's still sussy. Um, why? Why hasn't she seen her in ages? Also, okay, celebrating a half birthday is a bit extra. Those kinds of people always kind of annoy me, I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> we're back on my Mia hate hate train. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing here, really? Oh, okay, good. Whoa, hold up. I'm going to take, I'm not, I'm not opening that yet. Sorry, we got to check out. This is my bedroom. <laughs> She's growing so fast, getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, were a, you were a baby, Rose. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's a pretty normal sized crib. She's already growing out of these onesies. I can't believe I was ever this tiny. Rose is also traumatized by babies, so she she can't look at. Her. <laughs> I'm gonna use the fuse map. Okay, that that put me off for a bit. That was confusing, and I realized I got that last episode. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I look so happy. <laughs> oh, don't mind if I do? I don't know what Ethan's face looks like. I only saw his hair. He had that kind of dirty blonde hair, so they have the same hair. I assume you could see his face in third person mode. Oh shit, did I skip something? Fuck. A letter for me. Re! I did not mean to do that. Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. I'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious Rose. Never forget that, Dad. No one but Oh, you. Christ. It is Evelyn, no. you little... No! No! No, I'm gonna... Michael! Michael, help! Michael! It... No! 
Evelyn, you're a little weasel. A little demented little weasel child. I'm going to reload so I can just... Because I didn't interact with the laptop or the present. And that's fucking me up. <laughs> um, I'm actually... Oh, shit. Okay, I won't skip this because I don't want to skip into something else and be like, what the fuck's going on? Chicken butt? My voice cracked there. <laughs> Isn't I mean, does it even exist? It's a freaking crystal in a fungus mind palace. What do you... I still don't understand how that's a concept. What was she expecting to find? Of course not. Yes, of course not. For that, you have to Oh, it is in the mind palace of the fungus. Deeper. We're gonna go into Miranda. She can't trust anyone. Why are you doing this? No one loves you. I think you're projecting. No one, you're dead. No one will come! <laughs> <laughs> Enough games. Now. Okay, hold up. Um, sorry, I'm quitting. We're gonna go back to um, we're gonna just click on. We're gonna interact with some of the stuff, um, and then uh, we will go back to where we were. Um, okay, I was about to say I'm pretty sure we did not have demon dolls in this house. So let me just double check. I checked everything. That's a bit. I thought the present would. Don't forget to look upstairs. upstairs. Okay. Take a look. I'm looking. Ethan's favorite toilet. Good, good. Um, I thought it would. That would be what progresses the story. I didn't think it would be finding the hidden letter. I haven't seen mom in ages. So what is Mia up to? What are you up to, Mia? I, I know. She's probably a little too young for this, but it was too cute. What is it? I wonder how we played with this. Oh, is, is it just like a little toy? Oh, it's like a little toy dice thing. Okay. I thought it was a... I thought it was an actual, like, present box. But no, it's just a big, like, foam or soft dice. Okay. This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. This is my bedroom. She's growing so fast, getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. She's already growing out of these onesies? I can't believe I was ever this tiny. February 2nd is Rose's half birthday. Half a year in the blink of an eye. I wanted to capture this moment, these feelings, so I wrote something special. I may have gotten a bit sappy though. I'd feel embarrassed if anyone stumbles across it. So it's safe in the sideboard for now. The key is behind my favorite photo. <laughs> what an insane, what an insane diary entry or whatever this is. <laughs> like I know obviously with video games, sometimes you get some like weird, you know, like why is anyone writing this down? But this is like, like imagine someone, <laughs> this is like psychopathic. <laughs> oh man. It's, I wonder that's what she look like me when she grows but up. that's just the video game thing oh, to, f so happy. to find the key but that just I can't ima I'm just imagining Ethan just like typing that up in his diary and then just leaving the entry open <laughs> oh man it's so funny all right all right all right let's get this back up uh I'm gonna cry if I hear this again so we're skipping this um, and then we're gonna have Evelyn be a little shit as per usual. Enough games. Now you're drowned. Okay, I wish I didn't. Okay, I didn't realize we were just out of this house. playing this again. First. 
Damn, bro. Yeah, she is just. Does she only want you? She is jealous. What are you talking about? I don't know if she's talking about Mia or if she's talking about Miranda. Are you kidding me? Can I move? Did I go the wrong way? What? I'm calling bullshit on that. I, I got rid of the thing and then... Okay, whatever. Maybe I went the wrong way. I might get the brain damage in this segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. I don't know if she's talking about me or Miranda, though. That's my question. Why does she only want you? What are you talking about? Okay, so is it bait? Okay. Evelyn. What is your problem? Rose, you need to just punch her in the face. I'm not gonna lie, I don't advocate hitting kids, but if they're giant dickheads, you know, I'm not gonna say don't. <laughs> just so mean. Okay. What is this shit? I, I'd barely have time to react. Do I have to just instantly blast them with the white stuff or what? I'm getting, okay, I'm getting triggered. Let's just use this and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does she only want you? What are you talking about? Look at you! You are beyond! I, I'll say it again though, the voice actress Seriously, for Evelyn is, is doing great. Jesus! Oh fuck! I think I'm dead. This is really just not fun though very punishing i think i've died more times in this segment than i have in the game <laughs> what is happening i'm sorry i'm playing this so badly it's all one segment too jesus christ what does she only want you what are you talking about Beyond? Seriously, what is your problem? Just so greedy. So many friends that it's never enough.
You're supposed to die and join me here. Let's go. What? Oh, Ethan's about to say bad. <laughs> bad girl, you're grounded. What's going on? There? <laughs> Hurry, Michael. Michael! Good, you made it out. Oh, I didn't read that. Sorry, Chief. Be careful. We're not safe yet. Oh, dude, Evelyn. Evelyn. Evelyn's causing this. That little girl. That little weasel. Okay, we, we're definitely getting mileage out of this mansion or this house. Use your powers on her. Yeah, she's, I mean, we're supposed to be the the best of the best here. Evelyn was good, sure, but like Rose is supposed to be the actual like gangster here. So let's mess her up. Hey, we're just like... Super Jack. Don't panic. You've got this. Thank you. Thank you. Ethan is my motivational support here. Ooh, lovely little house we have here. You will never leave. Never! Hey, come on. We're... Oh. This way. Oh, we wait for an opening. My bad. Jesus. You've been suppressed. She's not done. Be careful. What is this freaking X-Men fight? What is this fight, bro? Oh shit, oh, get down! Yeah, I'm trying, Chief. If you'd never been born, it would have been perfect! Go away! Oh shit. Honestly kind of agree. This is not a good fight. I was special. You're worthless. No escape. Okay. That got me a bit. Over here. Okay, that was that. Jesus. Just destroy the fungus. This is so fucked this up. Is all your fault. We're keeping all these people alive in some like little fungal colony. Just burn the goddamn plant. The gold! Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. We're going deeper. Deeper into the... To the fungus. Meanwhile, what what is Kay watching? Is like... Rose just like comatose in front of this fungus? Like what's going on there? Whoa. 
crazy camera shot. Oh, we're outside. Michael? Are you there? Michael got hit with a chair. He's out. WWE. WWE's. Okay, come on. We just saw. We just saw that. We don't need the flashback. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. But he didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, he got hit by a chair and died. That voice. I don't think you can die in this thing. My dad's voice. Was Michael my dad? Okay. <laughs> okay. My dad? This is Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Okay, the emotional moments are getting ruined by kind of the dumb lines and the bad editing here, but <laughs> I can keep going. Okay. We we didn't need to say any of that. We could have just internalized. I have to find that crystal. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was a bit cheesy. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. We literally just saw the cutscene. I didn't need two flashbacks. Have to keep going. Breaking down everything that happened. I like to assume that they would give us a little bit of a benefit of the doubt, but maybe some people didn't quite catch what was going on, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, three eyes. What's all this doing out here? I assume everything just falling apart because this is all just some mindscape. Oh, we're back to combat, baby. Let's go. No, sh oh, we got shotgun, but no shotgun shells. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get like the shot of the village. Oh, but yeah, it's like, it's like some horrifying nightmare. Where the hell am I? Well, we are what in is this place. Yeah, like this is literally a fungal simulation of everybody's memories of the village, I suppose. This fungus is insane. <laughs> this fungus is fucking crazy. Uh, it's it's definitely man. Just give me the bits with Ethan and Rose. I think that this went really weird direction. Who the hell are you? Is that Rose? Oh, that's just Rose. Okay. Oh, we got. Oh, bro, we're getting. Now it's Miranda. That's Miranda being Rose, cause those crows are her thing. Miranda's a crow girl. We know that. Follow me, Rose. It's just... Yes, let me laugh. Oh, God. Come on, guys. I don't need to be doing this. Oh, Jesus. They're all, like, demented roses. Oh, it just... Holy shit, we're fucking... Let's go. Don't even look at me, kids. It's not a contest. Yeah, that's Miranda. Can you try not laughing like a crazy person for three seconds, please? Seriously. Unwrap this up, guys. I gotta go see my dad. Imagine if that's how Ethan actually dies. It's not defending Rose, it's because Evelyn hit him with a chair. And that's it. That was the end of Ethan. I still don't understand how there's a there's a purifying crystal which I was assuming was a physical thing but it's actually in some mindscape that's apparently just gonna get rid of the physical fungus in her body I guess it's some like metaphysical thing that like oh yeah that looks just delectable um, this this fungus really is something else I assume it's just like gonna break the connection with her and then the fungus inside her will die, but she's like all fungus So like I don't know if that would just straight up kill her Oh, this yes copies of me came This from. is awesome. They really were fucking look at oh my god Dude, What were they fucking smoking when they made this shit? <laughs> I don't even dislike the visual the visual is so trippy and weird The writing though is so cheesy at times 
Oh, we got freaking Miranda's notes. The Megamycete absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. The memories that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Oh, really? Really? Uh, only those who are attuned to the Megamycete in life retain control of their faculties here in this realm. Ooh. This aligns with my understanding of the Megamycete as revealed to me in its visions before my death. So Miranda's stuck here. Actual, actual Miranda's dead, but maybe her consciousness got uploaded or did it get duplicated? Again, what? who's who? What's what? Is there a such thing as a soul? I don't know, but none of these answers, none of these questions are going to be answered in this game. I can tell you that much. <laughs> um, this a lot, so there's some either either the re, the actual Miranda or a copy of the Miranda that the Mutamicey essentially downloaded. Like everybody that has any aff affiliation or you know are attuned to the Mutamicey are stuck in this fungal hell. And then Umbrella is just like, yeah, let's just study it. Meanwhile, these people are like, oh my god, I'm in a fucking hellscape. And they're like, oh yeah, look, <laughs> look, it's 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 pulsating. How fascinating. <laughs> Um, what <laughs> so crazy. Yes, my death, Miranda writes down to herself in her own notebook. <laughs> I love that. Again, the, the, the notes in, in RE, you can sometimes can be funny, but this is a thing with all video game diary entries and notes. It's just a game thing. Um, yes, my death, my physical body is gone, absorbed into the Megamycete. And yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I strived have continued to strive. They are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, understanding, and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Megamycete where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement. I'm literally stuck in like a one foot by like two foot piece of mold. <laughs> I'm stuck in that. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement with so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but the salute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know the perfect vessel. The only real candidate in all my years of searching Rosemary. So yeah, they're going to implant Evelyn. But what about Miranda's actual daughter? Is she not in there? What's going on with that? I'm assuming this is Miranda. Maybe it's not Miranda. Maybe this is fucking Mia. Imagine if this was Mia. That would blow my mind, actually. That would be a twist I was not expecting. Uh, but I'm like 99% sure it's Miranda because we got the evil laughter and the crows, you know? I have been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating and reviving the consciousnesses stored within the Megamycete. When a person dies, their consciousness is stored and preserved, but over time it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the Megamycete, and mixed with other consciousnesses and memories. Extracting and resembling, reassembling an individual who has thus diffused has proved a monumental effort. As an experiment, I decided to see what would happen if I used different individuals' consciousnesses to create an entity. Results, the results were fascinating. I, fascinating. I gathered fragments, respooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual birthed anew in this realm. A success, to be sure. But while his unusual physique resembled a man I once knew, he was possessed of a deeply war warped psyche and was missing a portion of his face. Oh, is that so Duke wasn't actually. Yeah, so Duke was like her trying to merge a bunch of people and then just got some fucking insano person. Conclusion While manipulating memories to create a person is possible, the creations are flawed and unstable. It will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel in this way. Miranda, baby, she's back. More reading. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles a real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. So that's what she's, she's like cloning all of those little, those are all Rosemary clones that she's trying to copy. I don't know why. I will continue my efforts because like the vessel, she needs the actual rose. Why is she trying to make a why is she trying to make a, if she's trying to, 
Okay, I, maybe I'm misunderstanding. I'll continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Se that's Evelyn. Several hypotheses, hypotheses have come to mind. The fact that Rose herself is still alive. Some other actor within this realm. A flaw in my methods of production. Maybe all three. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. I don't know why Rose being alive would have anything to do, I guess, the interference. Sure. Whatever. I, I, at this point, who cares? It's magic. Um, perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm. Were she to offer herself as a vessel, it'd be so simple. So simple. So Kay was working for... Yeah, wow. For Miranda, who knew? Additional observations. Further experiments with these Rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Mask Duke, 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 is just the one to perform the stress test. They couldn't have been watching me the entire time. Well, if Kay was working for them and communicating with her, because she's just literally a program in the Matrix, and there's an eye in there, which is completely disgusting. Oh man, okay, it would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousnesses, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, dispossessed of her will to live and her mutamycete powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. I don't understand any of this. Give me a second. This, now I'm lost. I need more alcohol, I think, to understand the writing in this section. I'm joking, guys. It's grape juice. Okay. That's my mistake. She's clearly talking about her daughter still. So she's trying to reform her daughter. And she's trying to put her memories into Rosemary. So that's, that's my understanding. So, so what she's trying to do is she's trying to make a, a, okay. So I assume in fungal land, you need like, there's like a physical body. Like Miranda probably has a body. The Duke has a body. Evelyn has a body. Apparently Ethan has a body. But for the most part, the memories are just like dissolute. She's trying to bring all of her daughter's memories together, but then she saw to shove them somewhere in this simulation. And that simulation, she's trying to she's trying to put together Rose. But for whatever reason, Rose is not working out because of. Um, yes, okay, we figured it out. So she's trying to put these things under stress, hoping that their powers will manifest. When their powers are manifested, it can maybe contain her daughter. And then Evelyn's a third party here. That's my mistake. I understand it now. Again, just needed needed more needed more grape juice um, to really piece it together. Okay, so so Miranda's still still up to her old shenanigans, except it's just in some mushroom nightmare. Incredible stuff. Okay, so that's good. I was I was a bit worried. I was like, they forgot about Miranda's daughter. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. The whole simulation thing is just a little bit confusing to me because, again, we're just there. in a mushroom. Michael. <laughs> like, we're all in this fever dream. I thought the purifying crystal was like a physical thing they needed, but apparently it's just some metaphysical thing that maybe just severs her connection. I just don't think that's going to work. I don't think that's going to happen. I assume she's just going to be stronger than ever. And I can understand her powers becoming stronger as she becomes more attuned. Here. Should be. Ooh, look, I wonder if that's. 
is that supposed to be Michael? That's interesting. Um, and she becomes more attuned to the fungus. She's getting more control of her powers. I don't really get what these are supposed to be. Honestly, the whole variance and flask stuff is still just a little bit foreign to me. I still don't understand why they had to take apart or part Rose to begin with. Like, they chopped her up. And then I guess the point being when she gets reformed, the fungus will also implant her daughter. But I don't get the whole ritual aspect. Like, why do they have to do it as a ritual? I don't think the fungus cares if it's done on a full moon. But who knows? And then did the, did the fetuses we see in Seven, you know, that were in the suitcases, were those caddos, which were just like, those fungal embryos? Like, that's what a caddo was, right? I'm, I'm honestly forgetting now. The, the plot got so insane, I'm sorry. It's, it's kind of hard to keep track. Um, oh man, okay. Black God which lives in us and in which we live, create for us a new world as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth. Not to destroy, but to preserve and once again deliver onto life. This is some twisted shit. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense if people think that if they can just... I mean, if they can live on... But again, I would assume it just copies the consciousness. Like, the real person's probably dead. I don't think it, like, downloads... The, again, but that's, like, that's a whole different question. This don't even bother. I can feel it. Okay, Miranda, come on out. Oh, we're cured. Oh my god. Is this what normal feels like? Hello. <laughs> it's me, Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> the are fuck you? are you lady <laughs> get away from me <gasps> oh okay hide it behind you yeah you that's so powerful. far too powerful for me to subdue directly but now so you don't have to i had to lure you into this realm so that you might willing but i thought the only reason she wanted rose as a vessel was because she had powers brother okay, what's so happening did he or did I? I've been behind the scenes the entire time. Oh, whoa. Was an illusion. <laughs> okay, she can Very do that now. Wouldn't you say? She can make you see things now. Wait. How did she get into now the, the lab? The vessel for my Eva! Get me out of here, man. Get me out of here. Get me out of this writing. <laughs> Please. Okay, now we're fighting her. Uh, Rose, Rose. Oh, Jesus. Ethan the goat. Let's go, baby. Okay, Ethan, like, I killed you once, bitch. <laughs> We're going <laughs> Yeah. Okay, can we play as Ethan? He can manifest. He can save you, Rose! No one can. Rose! Oh, he's got a <laughs> Oh, that's what he looks like. Okay. <laughs> he looks a little bit funny walking down the stairs. Look at him run. Ethan, come on, bro. I played you better than that. Oh, let's go. Go, go, go. All right, I like this. We're back to we're back to it being good. <laughs> oh man, what a roller coaster. Why didn't you tell me who you really were? 
Why'd you let me call you Michael? <laughs> I didn't want to call I prefer you. Michael. I, I go by Michael by say. my friends. I also love how they don't really give you a and good sorry, shot of his face. Know, but I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Ethan, shoot her in the face. Just shoot her in the face. There we go. King shit. Away from my family. Rose, come on. Oh, he's like literally an angel. <laughs> Alright. What <laughs> this is some crazy, crazy shit, bro? Oh, she's been... This is disrespectful. Stop ignoring Ethan. Persistence is always done. Rose. Now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. What? <laughs> what is happening? Rose, just go! Oh, he's just tackling her. <laughs> you had a gun, bro. I, I love you, but I need to know you're safe. So please, just... Even you insolent pest! You already said that. You already said that. Oh my god. I'm getting brain damage, guys. I'm sorry if the... Oh, okay, it's our it's our hero moment. Eat the crystal. Oh no! This. Oh, she breaks it, and that I thought she cured herself. No! My metaphorical crystal. Oh, they're back. They're back, baby. Now she's going Super Saiyan. This is. I've got this. I'm sorry, guys. This is RE5 you shit. Powers will allow you to stand against me. Me? Oh, in my domain. Oh! Okay, this is... We're playing Siri. Don't resist. And even if you were to survive, what would be the point? You can't save your father. You are of two different worlds. None of this is making sense to Why me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, okay, that's disaster. Disaster. <laughs> oh, we just hit her with the... Nothing beats the big mushroom. There's nothing. Oh, I'm playing bad. I'm playing bad, guys. Guilty as charged. Here I come. Thanks for the power. Why suffer needs? Okay, I tried. You can't dodge when you're reloading. That would make sense. How about this? How about what? You took so much to lose. But you're incredible. Well, I changed your mind when I put an end to your plan. You will. Fall. Oh, I meant to dot. Okay. Well, we're we're playing bad, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Come, be by my side. I keep reloading when I should be not reloading. I this world within the mega to And I'm trying to block when I should be dodging too. No matter how many of us is Okay. I tried to block when I should have dodged. I tried to absorb her power when I was reloading again. <laughs> no. Had the power to reach her. That is why it must be you. You are the only one who can bring her back. Whatever it takes, whatever I must do, I will see this through. Uh, okay. I guess you can't hold the block. Good to know. 
Your time is at an end. Should have just been doing that, to be honest. <laughs> Should have just been doing that. No, I can dodge while I'm reloading. Weird. There is no happy ending. Says the wicked bitch at the end of her reign. You will never be normal. Only I. Also, I understand how special you are. What? So they keep repeating the same lines and it's like, okay, we get it. She's special. She's not a freak. She's special. You're a freak. But we, we, we heard it the first 10 times. We don't need to keep repeating the same motif here. Or the same points. You just won't give up. You really are <laughs> There we go. Oh, okay, really? Give me some help. No. Hit her with the fungus. She even admitted it. <laughs> Ethan, you want to give me some first aid, buddy? Oh, we're going into the, the no dark realm. Oh, Jesus! Hey, I'm <laughs> pressing LB, motherfucker! Okay. Oh, we're in a cutscene, that's why. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus what is happening, brother? Uh, we're both dying! Oh, he's turning into this. gold stardust. Take her down. Thank you. <laughs> what is that? Okay. So Ethan just gave her magic. More magic. I've absorbed all the magic in the world. Oh, I will. Punch her in the face. Let me, give me the Superman punch. Return! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm playing Resident Evil, guys. <laughs> I'm playing Resident Evil? Okay. Oh, use her power. So much power. I'm not a goddamn vessel. I'm not some stupid copy. I'm me, Rose. You You're tell him. That's what I'm fucking talking about. We did it. Oh man. Explain to me how you die in this world as well. I don't get it. Hey. Oh my god. Okay, now we're getting a better shot of Oh, they're still covering his face. That's so interesting. Even though I wasn't there with you. Watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. She can't leave now or I what? what? I don't get it. Oh, oh no, because she got her powers back. You... Never mind. Then we never would have had this chance. Oh, now they show us his face. Oh, no? Oh, okay. Sorry, the emotional moment is just lost to me with the insanity that I've just witnessed for the past hour. So it's okay. I'm okay. I'm so proud of you. So very proud of you. I love you, Rose. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't. That was good. That was a good line read. And we wake up. It was all a dream. And he was in the fungus the whole time. <laughs> That's what's so crazy to me. He's just in a little mold pot. Bro. <laughs> Christ. Just to burn that shit to the ground. I'm back. Yeah, this is all a dream. What the fuck was this? Like, it's all some weird connection. Hey, oh, but the ring appears. Okay, we're done with this shit. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> She manifested the ring through the fungus magic. You need to burn that. Your dad is living some weird, demented, hell like purgatory. Blow it up. Oh, no, we're back to reading the storybook. Okay. Oh, now we got the ring. Oh, and this is how village ended. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. It's too far it away. Uh, okay, then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. <laughs> you were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon will be able to Oh my god, that's such a cute yeah. conversation. Okay. Last week, I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> and then this guy, this guy is such an asshole too for no God reason. Devil. Duty calls. I love you. I kind of like the idea of them not showing his face directly. I think it's a cool touch. Yeah, I found her. Are we just going to... Day of all days. We have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Sky Don't man. You ever call me that again. Whoa. It was a joke. It was just a joke. Was just a joke. Relax. I it's can a show you things joke. even Chris doesn't know. I can do. turn him into a mushroom. Go ahead. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? <laughs> this guy's so weird, bro. I know. Also, I love how they say they have a clear shot. Like, one bullet is going to kill anybody that has this fungus in them. Okay. Cool ideas. The gameplay was fine. The superpower stuff got a little bit too much. I thought... I liked it when it was kind of, like, low-key. Where it's like, hey, we can stun something. We can slow something down. Maybe we get a knockback or something. I think having those kinds of mechanics could be an interesting Resident Evil game. Where you have, like, ten kind of, like, mellow abilities. Right. And I think having that Super Saiyan moment can also work. I don't actually think that's a bad idea. I think I was even talking about how it would be cool if you had like that one moment where you go crazy. But I think you need to have more of a build up, right? Like I think you need to have like a full game of where you're kind of like you're playing eight, ten hours maybe. And like you really feel restricted. 
And then you get like a really powerful moment where you're like completely unchained. Like I like the dodging. I like the 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 superpower thing was kind of lame. It was just like, oh, here's a root comes out and smacks her. You know that that was not cool. But the dashing and everything was awesome. But um, the writing was like, again, it feels rushed. Like that whole Evelyn thing was kind of cool. But then she's just gone again and like and then we get some of the worst dialogue and stuff that i think we've seen where it's like we get two bits like two pieces like flashbacks of something that just happened we just recap what just happened michael is my dad um and then and then we fight miranda and i would have liked to do i think the exploration of evelyn would have been interesting i think it was a bit rushed again like i actually like the concept i'd have loved a little bit more history of rose add two more hours to this dlc please like give us a little bit more background on rose we like maybe read some more diary entries maybe we have a few more interactions with evelyn um as opposed to evelyn just losing her shit even being like no rose um and then moran then the the whole crystal thing still doesn't make sense to me. But apparently, also just the fact that Miranda can just... So this this super important fungus sample, like the only sample that they have after they nuke the village, I'd assume, is apparently in a lab that Rose can just get into with no supervision or anything. That seems like an insane oversight. <laughs> But she she imagined the guy, apparently. that's Miranda can do that now, too. She can just make you see things. From that fungus that's in, like, another part of the city. What are you doing? What, what, how does that make sense? Well, it's magic. Don't worry about it. Uh, and then, again, we're in her... We're in the fungus mind palace. There's apparently a crystal that just gets rid of her powers. Miranda only wanted Rose because she had the powers. That's why she was a good vessel. So what is getting rid of the powers going to do? And then apparently the crystal is just like, if you break it, the powers come back. But the crystal isn't even real, man. It's not even real. It's in the fungus. <laughs> There's no actual crystal. What, what, does anything make sense? No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. I'm losing my shit with this game. Exp I must be infuriating to listen to. If I'm making, I might be, I'm probably saying a lot of wrong stuff. So feel free to just rail me in the comments saying like, this was, you're just completely wrong, Daruk. You, you are stupid and bald. Shut up. Here's what actually happened. And this is why it's good. Break it down for me. Because again, I read all your comments and I am definitely more than happy to be wrong. And I've definitely been wrong with some stuff, right? Uh, but this was like, we, we need to reel it back in again. Let's just, let's. I, I like the gameplay ideas. I like the 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 philosophical concepts that they, we were beginning to approach and then completely just went all over the place. Um, or like, not philosophical, but like the kind of psychological components, but the character work we were seeing. And then it just got super rushed and just super like, it went from Rose being like, I don't want to be a freak and everyone calling her a freak until Ethan just like, Rose, get out of here. Even though, like, again, Ethan doesn't... And then Ethan gives her magic powers. He's like, take this, Rose. It's like, all of this is in a fungal mind palace. Nothing makes sense. Rose can do whatever she wants. She, I, I don't get it. Whatever. I give up. Just just break it down for me. Tell me why I'm being stupid. Um, again, this game is such a such a up and down roller coaster of, like... Rose and Ethan being able to meet, having that conversation is so powerful. And then there's so much stupid stuff happening in between that I'm like, there's no way Ethan just tackles Miranda. Bro, he had a shotgun. We've literally shot Miranda to death. Like, that was how we dealt with her. Ethan, you have a gun, brother. <laughs> like, why are we tackling her? <laughs> Why are we fucking look, Rose, get out of here? Instead of being like, hey, Rose, you have, like, why don't you, like, I, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I don't know. Whatever. I, I don't care. Get me out. Get me the hell out of here. Um, okay. Cool ideas, cool concepts. Let's, let's refine it. Let's, let's get a, let's get a clear plot that we want. Let's get some clear game mechanics that we want. 
let's let's dial back the insane magic power angle that we're going with. So it's just not like whatever happens is just happens, you know? Because like at that point, it's like I it's it's approach like at least with the original Resident Evils and like the gimmick. I mean, the the premise is there's a virus and it turns you into a zombie, and it just it just you know has like this insane cell replication rate. So things just get bigger and bigger and nastier. Okay, that's like simple. Like obviously it doesn't make sense that a little dude turns into a giant freaking like skyscraper-esque zombie. But it's like you can kind of follow it. You can kind of understand what's happening. But when you add magic, which is what this is, they can say the mute mega my seat, the mute of my seat, the 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 whatever. Um but like there's no logic. There's like there there isn't a logic to follow, rather, right? Like you can have magic in a in a game, but it has to follow some kind of narrative logic. Otherwise, yeah, it's like, oh Miranda made a dupe like okay, Miranda I thought he should just like convince them or mind controlled them or like bartered with him or something. No, she can just make illusions. Um oh Miranda's still like able to do whatever she wants in the fungus. Ethan literally shot her to death, but Ethan cannot do anything? I'm sus about that. Like, Rose is apparently the most powerful person, but uh, what her powers are her just throwing fungus at people. Um, It's just like there's no like inherent logic. Like anything can happen. There's nothing to it. Like one thing, one moment someone's really powerful, another moment they're not powerful. I like the introduction of Evelyn but they really didn't do much with it. I would have loved them to go deeper into it. I would have loved to even see Eva and be like Eva being like, she died a little kid well, looking at her mother being like, what the fuck are you Miranda? And like, that would be like a, you know, like Miranda like breaks because like her daughter sees her as a monster. There's all these interesting things they can do. Um, and, st- and like, we can even have some like really good heart to heart moments with Ethan and Rose. I liked Ethan coming in to save her. That was cool. But again, Miranda be like, eh. okay, sorry. I was probably insufferable. This is giving me like, I think I've ranted a few times in RE5 and I think a few people were like, bro, you went a little bit too hard. But sometimes it comes out, bro. The demon comes out. <laughs> but uh, feel free to flame me. Again, I like hearing your guys' opinions. I don't mind if you say I'm wrong. I, I really don't like it's actually I, I like having my views challenged, right? So um again I'm not gonna go into a debate in the comments. Like you guys you guys know. I, I'll I'll respond to your comment. Like I like hearing your guys' perspective. If you found it really emotional, really point like um poignant poignant, poignant and I, I never I always for some reason I can't say that word. Um but you know, like it really hit you. I can understand that. Cause I, I again like those Ethan bits were what I wanted, but it was just interspersed with stuff where I was like, eh, what? What's happening? Uh, so it made it hard for me to kind of get into that mood where in like the end of Village, like we had emotional beat after emotional beat after emotional beat. And like the writing made narrative sense, right? Like we we're here to save Miranda. I mean, we're here to save Rose. We're here to kill Miranda. Evelyn is teasing Ethan because, again, Evelyn's still alive in the Mega My Seat. Uh, so she's making fun of Ethan. Ethan's like, oh, my God, I'm actually just a mold man. And we learn that as he, like, from Evelyn because he did die, like, beginning of the game of Resident Evil 7. So there's all this incredible stuff where it's like, okay, there's some stupid stuff. There's some weird game mechanics. It's a little bit hodgepodge but like they they made a they made a clear-cut game and i i I enjoyed it for what it was and the story hit me emotionally in this bit it felt just too jam-packed it was too short too many random things happening give me two three more hours of this dlc kind of stretch out some of the character interactions make kind of fix some of the writing so it's a little bit less stupid and nonsensical i would say and then well, in my eyes, I view it as stupid and nonsensical. Maybe it's not. Maybe maybe I'm stupid and I didn't understand it well. Um, again, so feel free to... Don't actually call me stupid. Don't, don't do that, but feel free to call me out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed 
the episode at the very least. I hope it wasn't too unwatchable. Um, I can get okay, it can be pretty bad, so I apologize again for being like this. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you again uh, hopefully soon for the next game.